today I'm shooting um, a ad for a um, alcohol brand and today I'm wearing the 8111s and this view is absolutely spectacular and the house behind me is pretty amazing too. All right, finally, the 8829 Billy Boot is released. I knew about this boot for quite some time, and um, I was so excited. I, I wanted to share it with you guys, but I knew I couldn't. Um, I, I saw it, and I was able to have it in hand, and um, now I'm excited to have it released. And here it is. It's an 8-inch uh, mock toe in the uh, Klondike leather, which I know is a very popular leather with everyone, and that knife pocket, which is just really cool. We've got that triple stitch going on there. Um, and uh, we have, what, four five uh, eyelets and then four uh, speed hooks in the chrome traction tread sole there um this is uh that uh goodyear weld we got that nice uh heel counter going external heel counter on that uh, boot and you have the uh, size and information um, printed on the tongue on this limited edition versus having it on the inside of the tongue and uh there's a little close-up of that um that knife pocket right there uh, which is uh, pretty neat. It's pretty um, spectacular how they did that. Uh, I remember seeing it the first time thinking, what in the world? I was like, this is amazing. Um, and then they have the uh, Red Wing uh, embossed on the side because it is a limited edition, like uh, the Irish Setters and then also the um, 87519. Do you have that Red Wing, which is a nice touch there, um, given... Um, on the uh, 8829s. You also get two laces, two sets of laces with these. You get a Taslin lace and you get these leather laces. Um, and then there's an inside of that um, Klondike and leather sole. And as you, if you have the 19, oh, sorry, if you have the 877s, you know how comfortable these boots will get. That full, fully leather lined uh, footbed and um, leather lined inside out just once you break these in they're gonna feel so comfortable just ridiculous like walking uh <laughs> like walking on pillows <laughs> okay so here's the knife so this knife is made by case and uh they, they had this knife in mind when they designed the boot when they designed that little pocket this was the knife that they had in mind uh it's a case knife it is it has a clip blade and a pen blade um it is a um, black synthetic half whittler that's the type of nice knife it is um it's really nice i i as you know i have a couple of knives and i've collected knives and so the clip blade is extremely versatile just the thing for those everyday tasks at work or around the house with a sharp point for uh, piercing the shape allows for better control of the cutting edge and then the pin blade shape was originally designed to cut and sharpen turkey quills for use um, as an ink pins today it still makes a great blade for light uh, light duty work so the blade is 2.2 uh, inches on um, the clip blade and then the pin blade is 1.5 and uh, it's non-locking which makes it legal in new york city it's about 1.6 ounces in weight and it's a uh, 3.25 inches in uh, closed length and then the handle's a uh, black synthetic so here we have um, the on feet and I'm wearing uh, look at that looks pretty cool I'm wearing uh, green canvas pants by grown and sewn and um, out of the box these feel really comfortable I was very happy of course you know like the the 877s and also the 879s that I have it's um, comfort right out of the box and they felt really good I was extremely pleased and also they offer a Klondike wallet 
uh, with this um, with this purchase or not sorry not with this purchase with this limited edition set there's um, a new Klondike uh, leather goods which is cool uh, which I picked up and I'll go into a detail of those I'll review that um, the uh, new card holder wallet whatever you want to call it um, but here's just another look of the boots looking gorgeous with that um, that knife in there I was thinking um, if they did the oh here's a close up of that with the knife in there if they did a knife pocket if they did the rough out of the Klondike and then on the brown piping of the boot if they did that in a rough out of the Klondike I thought that would be like a really nice touch see how they have the brown piping if that were like the rough out like they did on the the um, Oxblood Mokto that would have been special and then having I can understand maybe like the knife pocket you kind of want it to like blend in a bit with the boot and not have it so pop so much but it just would have been kind of cool to have it you know, like that rough out brown, deep brown inside on the side of that boot. I don't know. You guys will let me know what you think in the comments, but I thought that might be kind of cool. Also, um, if you did get a chance to buy these, pick these up, um, I know it, it's amazing. Like I knew this was going to be a really popular boot and they've been selling out really, um, really quickly. Um, versus like the 879, 87519s you can still find. Um, there's just no eight inch black, um, Macho in the Red Wing line. So, uh, even these aren't Japan, they didn't get these at all. So that's pretty cool that U S and Europe has, um, had the release, but Japan didn't get them. So good on us, right? <laughs> Finally, thanks for watching. And remember, be a boot. See you guys next time.